love this edition of Cribs. Come hang in the humongous haunt of Laura Prepon with her and her visitor, Jason Siegel. This wow. is Jezebel. Look at that. She's four years old. Hey. She's got a major personality Whoa. on her. Oh, she, <laughs> she's teething, so she'll, she'll nip at you. Next, chill out with James King in her hipster hangout in downtown NYC. So this is my closet. This is where I keep all my Bentleys and my Hummers. My P. Diddy fur coats. That's not very politically correct, but I like fur coats. Then finally, it's off to the hills of Hollywood to check out the view from above with Devin Sawa and his temporary housemate, Jason Schwartzman. This is the main reason why I bought the house. You can just stand here for hours and, and take in the view. I'm Jason Siegel. Come on in and check out my crib. Okay, let me take you guys into my dining room. Just remember, we just moved in, and the house is a work in progress. We like the whole country feel in here because all the chairs, chairs are different, and we're kind of mixing and matching. There's, like, nothing on the walls yet. You'll see, like, nails like this. Just keep in mind, we just moved in. This is my favorite part of the house. This is my kitchen. Do you want a muffin? Sure. <laughs> Blueberry muffins? Mm. I made these myself. We put all these wood chopping blocks in here, which I love, and the farm animals on the back. We're trying to keep the whole farm feel to it. And then we got these murals up here, and that's my horse, Jezebel, which you'll see later. Why don't we check out what's in my fridge, huh? What a nice fridge. I can't take credit for it. It was here when we moved in. Wow. I'm, I'm kind of a health food buff. We have our brown rice bread. Yeah. You like that? We have all of our juices, our egg whites. Yum. Big fat fruit cup. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Nothing wrong with a fruit it's cup. It's healthy. You can eat that. And this is my one of my favorite things in the whole house. So look very closely. No chair is the same. Whoa. They're all hand painted. They're all different. Like snowflakes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then over here, this mural. This is my boyfriend's horse. This is Havana. And this is our dog, Cody. This is our chill room. This is yeah. our hangout TV room. We picked out all the different fabrics for this couch. Custom made for us. It's a nice chill couch. Not us. You like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's hanging out for the day. There's one of our dogs. This is Doji. He's a little boxer. This is like dog land. We have an Australian Shepherd, a mini Doberman Pinscher, and a Boxer. This coffee table I love because this is an old Indian window. And wow. they made it into a table and put glass over it, which I think is awesome. This is one picture that I love. It's of me and my boyfriend. The one picture that I have, like, in the house. This is the living room. This is another one of those tables that was a window, and it was made into a table with the glass. And another one of my flower arrangements, which I'm so proud of. This one is my favorite. How much would you pay for that arrangement? Like two, 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 three hundred dollars. Two, three hundred dollars. Yeah. I just saved myself. She made it. She made two it. Two or three hundred dollars. I could save you three hundred dollars. All right. Hey. We got I'll, a deal. I'll, I'll make, all right. <laughs> yes, I'll do that. I'm going to take you guys upstairs. This is our guest this room. Is nice. You like that? Yeah. I got one room in the house to do like shabby chic girly. Okay, so basically the problem was guys are gonna be staying here too. Right. Are you secure enough with your masculinity to stay in a room like this? Oh yeah. You are. Uh, no See? question. Yeah, yeah. There definitely. you go. See, he proved my point. I'll exactly. sleep in here, yeah. We have our quilt. Our shabby chic quilt. This I've had forever. This woman in London ironed these flowers on that. Isn't that wow. cool? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really fragile. I won't let anyone touch it because I'm afraid it's gonna like fall apart. This is our master bedroom, and uh, we love, love this bedroom. This is our bed that we had made for us, which I love. This is um, a prime example of that we just moved in the house. King size bed, queen size mattress. It's a little 
white trash, but you know, I'm from Jersey. Yeah. I've always wanted a sitting area in my bedroom. Isn't this great? Yeah. You can sit here and talk, read a book, and ooh, whoa, whoa! It's little stuff like that that makes it makes it count. So I'm gonna bring you guys to the pool. You see all these like these people with the rocks and everything, but and I love that. But this is really great with the that's a fountain. We have a turnout for our horses that wrap all the way around the house up to all that area that you see up there. So they can just run around all over the place and it's really great. I'm gonna take you through here. This is my my favorite way to get to the front. Okay, are you, are you ready? Are you prepared for this? I'm ready. Okay. Hope you guys are ready. Let's do it. Holy mackerel. <laughs> How great is that? I've always, always wanted a house like this. I love this house so much. And here's our hammock over here. Did you sit in the hammock yet? No. But the only problem is if we sit in it, you get really tired. Let's motivate. Are you ready? Yeah. One. Two. Three. three. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to take you down to see the horses. I've been riding horses since I was about 10, 10 years old. My total dream is to always have my own horse. This is Savannah. She's six years old. This is Bella. She's pregnant. She's got a little baby. And then I'm going to show you my horse, who's over here. This wow. is Jezebel. Look at that. She's four years old. She's got a major personality Whoa. on her. Oh, she, <laughs> oh, she's teething, so she'll, she'll nip at you. better ski daddle. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out today. Thanks for checking out my crib. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what's up? I'm James King. Come and check out the apartment. This was essentially for the past three years, this has been my apartment. I'm giving it up in January. It's sort of like a series of failed attempts to have like a really like well put together apartment, apartment but it never really happened because out of the three years, I guess I've probably actually been here maybe six months. Half of my apartment is actually decorated for things for like 99 cents, which I think worked really well. Basically all the art that I have in here, we found in books and photocopied and just taped up to the wall and it looks kind of cool. This bike, I love this bike so much. It's a piece of crap, but it's really cool. I got totally screwed by a male supermodel on this bike. It seemed in good condition because I was running around the block, but by the time I convinced him to sell it to me, he brought it over to my apartment and the wheel was flat and like all this stuff was totally broken. So it's literally, it's been sitting here for like a year and a half. I've never been able to ride it, but I just think it looks kind of cool. This is my guitar where I get to pretend to be a musician, which I'm really not. I can play like the beginning of like five different songs. That's about it. I went to go take classes from this hippie guy at the American Guitar Institute with really long nails and really long hair. And he kind of freaked me out a little bit and he wasn't very nice to me. So I didn't go back. And it was too far uptown. I have a really challenging time going past 14th Street. This is a big ass Helmut Newton book. I really love to collect photography books. It's really funny because I received this book as a gift from a, a really good friend of mine and I don't think that he knew that I really loved Helmut Newton at the time. The picture says so much and, and that's why I collect a lot of photography books. I have really, really good ones here. I have this one and I have, like, I love Man Ray and Cindy Sherman and Nan Golden and Terry Richardson. In my closet, this is where I keep all my Bentleys and my Hummers. My P. Diddy fur coat. That's not very politically correct, but I like fur coat. My crown. Can't go wrong with birthday crown. I'll play dress up. This for a jacket that I got in Nebraska for like $1.50 or something. Or we could be more J-Lo and go for the white hat. Little. 
So now I'm gonna take you to my bedroom. And here's my clothes. It's so funny because I have all of these like fancy schmancy dresses that I wear like once. Oh, I got this one. It's like a fake Versace dress, but it's a vintage dress that I got down in Austin, Texas for $5. Oh, this is my grandmother's. This is really pretty. Here, I gotta take this off, I'm hot. This one will kind of go with my hair right now, actually. Maybe I'll put it on. It's really heavy. Shag it out now. More clothes. Lots of jeans, lots of sweaters. And keep in mind that I've moved to California and I literally don't wear any of this stuff. So it's all just sitting here. So I'm intending on giving it all away. So if you want to check down at the Goodwill on Prince and Lafayette, you'll be finding lots of this stuff because every year th that's where I take my stuff to. One of the great things that I really like about this apartment is that basically all the stuff that I have here I found on the street and they're really like a part of New York and a part of my life here in New York. This mirror I found on 26th Street. We like rented a van and had someone bring it up to the apartment. This is another thing that I, a couple of friends of mine found on the street, obviously because it's totally thrashed. It's got cigarette burns. The comforter on my bed I found, this is really cool. In New York, they have these really great outdoor markets every Saturday and Sunday, and I found this on 26th Street, and I managed to get the guy down on the price. When I was younger, I used to make necklaces and bracelets out of magazines, and you'd roll them up and you'd super glue them or use clear nail polish. I went to some fancy schmancy decorating place, and they were selling them for a ridiculous amount of money, and I bought them because it reminded me of when I was a kid. I had to drag my best friend Stacy on because everybody gets shout outs and stuff, so I had to bring Stacy on. But this part's really cool. This is one of the really cool things about growing up in New York. You're overlooking St. Mark's, and when I first moved to New York, I didn't know anyone, so this is the place where I really hung out. I mean, I didn't know a soul. It doesn't matter who you are or, or where you come from or what you're about or what you're doing. It's like everyone's on the street and everyone's on the same level. There's a lack thereof in that department. They want me to show them my tatas. My tatas, but I don't really have any, so they're they're not gonna really get a show. Well, I guess I'm out of stuff to show you guys, so that's about it. But thanks for looking through all my my stuff and my clothes and all my like funny things. Appreciate it. Bye bye. What's up? My name is Devin Sawa, and I'm gonna give you a tour of my house as, uh, as soon as I take out this trash. Hey, Warren, Dev. How are you? Hey, can I use your shower? Whoa. Who's the, uh, who are your friends? This is Jason Schwartzman. He'll be probably tagging along as usual. Actually, you know what? Wait, you know, I'm just gonna get changed, and I'll be with you in a second. All right, what's up? Let's go inside Devin's house. Check it out. Let me get my key. Listen, show us. Hey, yeah, I told hey. you. I'm doing the TV thing right now, and you know what? Well, I'm gonna do this tour, but just please, can you, can you behave? Thank you. Come in. This is my uh, my house. This is my my couch here. Don't sit. Do not sit on my couch. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Nice suede couch, good for reading, relaxing. Some and nice cooking. Don't crouch. touch. Don't. Sorry. This over here is um, something I had built into the wall. It's like a sort of a, well, I don't know what it is. It's a, sort of a cabinet with a bunch of vases. There's some pictures in here. This is my, my girlfriend, and this is my, my trip to Tofino. Over here, we have the kitchen. This puppy we use a lot. Does a lot of our cooking, this microwave here. We got this. And my girlfriend gave me that. Okay. Emerald Lagasse, let's see what you have in your fridge. All right. In the fridge, we have, of course, pickled tomatoes, sauerkraut, pickles, and a fly. B. <laughs> Keep it in there. And then we have the master bedroom. This here is the master bedroom. Bed, fan, that artwork. Yeah, the monkeys actually, uh, I just started getting my girlfriend a monkey like every couple months. You know, she's starting to collect them now. 
We're gonna eventually have them all around the, the bed. So it's a bed full of monkeys. All right, downstairs. This is where I spend most of my time. It's uh, my like arcade, whatever. Over here we have turntables, which I'm just beginning to learn. Right here we have the candy machine. Schwartzman always steals the key, gets free candy. I don't know. I don't make any money off him. This is the bar, uh, which I had put in when the house was being built. Hey, old timer, what can I get you? <laughs> I'll have a, a beer, please. Picture with Eminem uh, when I, from when I did the video. This pinball machine, which I play a lot. We have Street Fighter 2 game that I used to play in high school a lot. We used to skip class and go play at the arcade. Dartboard, which doesn't get much use because, frankly, it, uh, it's not the best dartboard. Just the darts never stick in. <laughs> Throw it, man. Let's try one. Here you go. Bitch. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Now to the TV room where I watch uh, a, lot, a lot of movies. Holy kind of, jeepers. Kind of got like a little blockbuster going on here. I think I got like about 600 here, 700. It's kind of lonely. Where's Scarface? Uh, yeah, you have to have the Scarface. I gotta have the Scarface. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I got my favorite in here, so where's that one? Aww. Uh, uh, see? Aww. Uh, like a little buddy. <laughs> This is the deck. I spent a lot of time in the summer. I got the foosball out here. This is the main reason why I bought the, the house. You can just stand here for hours and, and take in the view. Usually when I when I rehearse my lines and read scripts, I, I do it out here. There's the Griffith Observatory. True. They have a better view than me. You know what? I'm gonna let uh, Jason... Well, it's not really. It's just a little thing I made up. Just a little... Yeah, I'll show it to you. It's where I feel safe. It's my little nest where I go in the winter and put my acorns. <laughs> oh, all right. Tell me. This is uh, Casa de la Schwartzman. It's where I live. Uh, just out here in Devin's garage. Yeah, let me just take you on inside and show you what it's all about. I have some records here. The Well-Tempered Synthesizer, Magical Mystery Tour. Um, <laughs> they have not in LA. This is my little computer that I, I can do email from. My phone is my office. And this is um, my workstation, my sequential circuits drum machine, and my Fender Champ amp. I can show you a beat that I was working on. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Jason Schwartzman. That was Sawa. Thank you. Thanks for letting us show you our cribs. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Backstreet.